Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, some of that wrestling news. Got the fucking sun in my eye there, Jesus Christ. But um, Vince McMahon, sexual assault allegations, ladies and gentlemen, appearing on, on big news websites, shit like this, but... It's something that happened in 2006, which was never proven. Never proven, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, apparently, 2006, McMahon goes to a tanning salon. He tries to get this girl, or he asks an employee at this tanning salon to take pictures of him. Apparently after that he tried to get her to look at pictures of his nudes on the phone <laughs> and semi-nude. Somehow I don't believe this. Billionaire Vince McMahon with nudes on his phone first of all there. Well maybe he's a bodybuilder McMahon there but Trying to get this girl to look at his nudes. Don't know if I believe this there. Look at my nudes. Look at my penis. At least look at the semi-nudes. At least. Apparently she said to stop it. Stop it. And then she went in another room. In this business there. McMahon gets up. Follows her into another room. Where he tried to kiss and grope her, apparently. Um, you know, McMahon, this is a guy that he deals with all kind of legal issues 24-7 there. I don't know if I can see McMahon in a public tanning salon following women in different rooms to try to molest them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't see this there. Him going into another room. 60 year old billionaire. That gets sued every fucking two days there. I don't see him doing this in, in the public business there. McMahon following women around. Let me grope you. <laughs> Let me kiss you or whatever. I don't believe this you know. Apparently she rejected him he went to wait in the parking lot for 20 minutes in a Hummer so this this girl random chick in the tanning salon the billionaire he's desperate for her to look at his pictures he's following her around from room to room to molest her and he's waiting for her in, in the parking lot for 20 minutes. Highly doubt McMahon would do this. A guy that can get, even at his age with his money, he can get millions of hot women. You know what I'm saying? I, I doubt he would be that desperate. You know, especially if she's rejecting him, shit like this there. Anyway, she charged, she, you know, tried to charge him with the police. Um, McMahon denied it. The charges were dropped because there was no evidence. There was a woman in the tanning salon who says that, you know, McMahon was a gentleman and he wasn't trying to hit on the employee or something like this there. So the charges were completely dropped. No proof whatsoever. So why is this coming out now? You know what I'm saying? It's not like somebody that, you know, they made allegations, they were paid money to shut up. Then it looks like, oh, maybe he was guilty if he had to silence her. Or, you know, it's not like she never took him to court and she's just coming out now. They already tried to charge him, and it, it was dropped. They had fuck all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why bring this up now, like if it's new, when it isn't? It was already dealt with. 
and it was never proven that it happened, so why bring it up now like if it's fresh? Some people think it's because of the XFL. Apparently McMahon said we, we don't want criminals in the league and apparently the news is coming out now because it's a contradiction and McMahon might be a criminal but he never got charged. <laughs> so he's not a criminal. McMahon saying he doesn't want criminals in XFL that's not a contradiction because he didn't get charged for sexual assault. There's no reason to believe that he's guilty. So that's not a contradiction. Some people think, oh, the NFL, like conspiracy style, the NFL <laughs> trying to take him down, shit like this. I think it's just websites and you know, newspapers, the media, goddammit, trying to get some clicks there with this shit. It's, that's what's popular right now in the media. They're, you know, ruining people's lives. Most of the time, there's no proof that these things even happen there. But, and a lot of times, the women are saying the truth, you know. But this McMahon thing, it went to court. Charges were dropped, no proof, a witness saying that it's bullshit, McMahon denies it. Why bring this back 12 years later when it was never proven? What do they expect here or there with this shit? McMahon's gonna fucking run and hide for, from something he already defeated in court 12 fucking years ago? Give me a fucking break. Oh, is McMahon gonna leave WWE? <laughs> no, that that's that's not gonna happen. He's he was found innocent or, or at least not guilty back in the day. No proof. McMahon's not leaving. Sorry, uh, probably indie fans want this there to happen, you know. But sorry to whoever wants this to happen. McMahon ain't going anywhere. He's not going to go to court again. <laughs> so this crap isn't going to go anywhere. Just fucking websites trying to make money off of clicks with fucking bullshit stories that were never proven 12 years ago. And McMahon won this shit in court. So pretty retarded to bring this up now. Like if it's new, you know what I'm saying? Oh, allegations. Uh, this was a secret. No, it, it, it was disproven or he won in court. There's nothing there, fucking just retarded nonsense. Until next time, peace. Ha. <laughs>